Hello, everybody. Today, we're just gonna do some uh, city destruction today. Nah. Now nah, we're just gonna do several versus matches. But I'm gonna be Varan. And we'll do some uh, random matches. I'm just gonna talk about whatever. Godzilla stuff. I don't really know what to talk about, though. I don't even have the uh, video uh, title at this point and recording thought of. I got it. But I'm gonna Monster. show off my Varan play. Simply because I like Varan. I think Gigant's pretty cool too. I guess we could talk a little about Gigant today. Everyone's favorite chicken bounty hunter. Um, I like Gigant. That's that's pretty much all I gotta say about the subject. But I'm pretty sure you guys will want more like deep analysis. Um. Things I like about Guy Game. Hmm. Well, I mean, he's got them, uh, them spear hands. Pretty cool. And, unlike King Ghidorah, he's very persistent. You might be wondering, well, King Ghidorah is pretty persistent. But I mean persistent in like, in the Showa era, it seemed like Gigan really had different plans of attack. Like, he helped out Mechagodzilla when the cockroach people were there. Um, he was there at the Megalon fight. He was... Also there, I, I think he helped out King Ghidorah in the movie once. Can't remember. I'll have to go back and rewatch all those movies. They're all coming together as one. That's what happens when you watch a lot of them. Well, I mean, technically he did help him out in Final Wars. But he's just really cool. I mean, he has a cool design. His backstory is like a bounty hunter esque. I'm saying esque. Because he's often employed by a lot of different people. And it's, it's kind of safe to assume he's a bounty hunter. And that just implies. Now, there's a kaiju society out there that's big. Winner. And that they understand currency. That'd be kind of dope, though. But that's just the implications. Because you gotta think, they're sentient beings. If they're doing stuff for money. Like, why is he helping out all these aliens? He could literally be doing anything else. Like, I know a lot of stories in fiction. Earth is the center of it because we humans make Earth the center of it. But he literally could be doing anything else. We're gonna play a game of tennis, Gigan! And you lost. Tennis. Mm, I guess that's pretty much all I gotta say about that game. I mean, I could talk about, I guess, some stuff that kind of bores me in the Toho catalog. 
kind of like the Attack of the Gargantuans. I have it. I never really got around to watching it, so I can't really judge it. But it just doesn't... From looking at the synopsis and the uh, cover art and some of the stuff on YouTube, it doesn't seem that interesting to me. But that could be entirely different if I watched it. So I might give it a watch one of these days. I know some people are fans of that. They wanted uh, those monsters in the game. And I know they got them in Rulers of Earth, which I still need to read. Oh boy, I was doing the wrong kick. There we go. Winner. Anybody enjoying these Varan skills? No? Okay. Ooh. I have an idea. I'm gonna talk about my opinion on OCs. And speaking of OCs... Let's battle the OC. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the o two OC characters in this game. I know I purchased the game long after the vote. I know those characters won the vote. But, eh, his name is Obsidian. And every time I hear that, I just think of the Minecraft Obsidian game. That's how you know I play way too many video games. But I'm sure they're fun characters. It's just, I'm not really a big OC person. I'm swimming and rolling. Ah, oh, crap. Stop. Rolling. Swimming. Sorry, I'm kind of getting a bit into it. Um... I mean... There are some OC characters I like. I've been playing some Pizza Tower and I really like the toys. I thought that was funny. But Pizza Tower is kind of off topic. So, uh, let's go back to, uh, Godzilla stuff. Uh... I mean, maybe one day we could see Crystal Lack and Obsidian in a movie or something. And we could see them really shine as characters. Well, that would be pretty neat. KO. See what they could do in the movie Winner. or show. Pharaoh. Mm, I guess we could talk a little about Crystal X. Uh, I think Crystal X's backstory about being Space Godzilla's crystal. I think it's a bit redundant. It's like typical OC fan character. You know? When uh, the fan fiction has that one character that's mysteriously the long lost cousin of the main character, or a long lost brother or something. It's kind of like that. That's how it feels like for me, but I'm pretty sure I am wrong. Oh boy. I 
take that. And this. And that. So the So what do you guys think about any of the uh Godzilla merchandise out there right now? I was kinda going online looking at some uh, Godzilla toys. And I saw that there's this website, I forgot what it's called. But they were expensive. And I was like, why are they so expensive? But I will tell you, I am upset that I went to Walmart a few months ago and I saw a Jet Jaguar on sale for $8 and I never bought it when I should have. I should have bought it. I could have had a Jet Jaguar for it. But no. I just didn't buy it at the Walmart. They had it right there by the video game section where the pop culture stuff is. Pretty neat. One of the things I regret was not buying that. Now I know some of you might take that off context and be like, Oh no, he's saying he regrets not enjoying buying merchandise. Just want to let you guys know I have a job. A career and stuff. So I'm not saying in life, for those of you that are going to take it that way. I'm just talking about as like a small little purchase. You know what? Let's have fun. That's 1v1 Titano. Oh boy, I cannot stop talking about the Titanosaurus. Whew. No, this is a Varan video, even though I have not really talked much about Varan in this video. But I talked a lot about him in the last one. Monsters. You know what? Let's just talk about both. Why limit himself? So. In a hypothetical situation, Varan and Titano fight, who do you think would win? That is the question of the day. To answer in the comment section, like, who do you guys think would win? I mean, Varan can fly, so he's got that speed. Titano is kind of strong. He could pick up Kaiju with his mouth. You can't really uh, measure how much stuff Varan can lift. But, since he could pick up Kaiju in this game, I'm going to assume it evens out. And it's kind of like air versus water. You know, the age old question air versus water. With Varan being, you know, Blighty and Titano. Well, they're, you could both argue they're C, because Varan lived underwater too in that lake or pond. I think it was a lake. Pretty weird if it was a big pond. We, we, we. And he has been the defeated. I mean, if you guys want to choose your Monsters. favorite monster as the winner, I'm not gonna judge you. For me... Mm, I'm not gonna go into, like, a death battle thing. I could... We could always just make up another scenario. Like, for instance, how would they meet? 
Well, we could always make that simple. Um, Monster Island. Of course. Because Varan lives in Monster Island and destroy all monsters, so we could probably use that as a set piece. Um, let us assume Titano's underwater, no one's ever discovered him. And, um, it's gonna be kinda hard to set up a fight without doing the obvious brainwashing thing, but I want to avoid that plot line. Let's just say the plot line is, um, hmm. Let's just say he's hungry. He wants to eat fish or something. I assume Titanosaurus is a carnivore, because of the Spinosaurus tail, which the Spinosaurus tail would assume that a Spinosaurus is kind of like a big ass alligator with legs that are huge and arms. And since Titano has that narrow face, I'm going to assume it's going to be kind of like an alligator. You can sense things in the water. Just, just assuming there's nothing official on it. It's just for the story. I don't want to make nobody mad. Um, maybe Varan is in the ocean looking for some food too. And they just so happen to meet upon each other in chance. So, because they meet, they want food, they're hungry, so they battle each other. And then, uh, from there, we could just be like, uh, just choose your favorite kaiju to win. Which would be ending A, a Varan victory. Varan just beats him up, because he has that, uh, very. He could maneuver very well. King Caesar. And after beating him up, he just goes Monsters. back to his day. Now, for ending B, this could be a Titanosaurus victory. Um, he beats the crap out of Moran. He can't, he can't really kill him. Because the only known way to kill Varan was through Dynamite. But he did beat the crap out of Godzilla though. But he didn't kill him. We can make it to where he kills Varan and beats him. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll change ending A. Moran kills Titanonis. Makes sense. Let's have it make the sense. Okay. And now for the next question. For people to debate. Who is the best Godzilla? I know everybody has their difference. I personally like Hesei Godzilla. Because I grew up with Hesei Godzilla. I think I watched, uh. I think the first one I watched was the movie with Badara. I want to say that's the first one. But I think that's a lie, because I'm pretty sure the first one I watched was the one with Fire Rodan. Where Godzilla and Rodan team up to fight Mechagodzilla. I want to say that was the first one. 
Cool. Whenever you're in a tough spot, you can just swim in the air. Winner. Very. Kick his butt in the second one. King I know Caesar. a lot of people probably like the legendary guys. Monster. So. Fight. Um. If I ever get enough subscribers, I would make a poll. But since I don't. Guys, want to? You can always tell me in the comment section, and I'll assume the one with the most comments wins. And I have a feeling someone's gonna throw me a curveball with Millennia Godzilla. Grant's kind of hilarious when he hops. I'm not gonna lie, it's like a bunny hop, but watching a lizard. It's pretty. It's kind of cute. Bam. Swimming in the air, swimming in the air. Here's a kick. Uh, wanna play tennis? We play tennis. Take this. A stop. A stop. Do an uppercut. I'm trying to do an uppercut. I want to see his uppercut animation. There we go. Swimming around downtown in the air. Something I don't know. Punch. Kick. Another kick. Swimming. Rolling. Swimming. Rolling some more. Punch. Punch, punch, a kick. Bam. I don't know why, I am very focused on this match. I mean, there's no reason for me to be that focused. Well, I think I'm going to end the video for today. I'm just going to remind you guys that if I get 100 subscribers, I'll show you my entire Toho collection as a uh, video reward. So, that's something to look forward to. Alright, well, have a good one. I hope you guys stay safe and stuff out there. And, uh... Long live the king.